Hey guys, Richard here at the Bike Reviews and Adventures. So a lot of you have been asking how to install a suspension seat post onto a saddle. And I happen to have new ones here that I'm going to install on the Zora bike right back there. So I thought, why not make a video? There are videos out on the internet talking about this sort of thing, but hey, I'll make one too, that's okay. So uh, let me show you what we got going on here. All right guys, so this is really easy. You're gonna need a couple of adjustable wrenches and a number five Allen wrench, okay? That's really all you need uh, to get this done here. And it only takes a couple of minutes as well. So here's our suspension seat post. And the ones I always get are the ones that are listed 27.2 and 30 by 0.4. And the reason being is, woo, that's noisy. Did you hear that? We could almost play a song with that. So the reason being is that uh, this fits the two most common e-bike frames and uh, you can use the sleeve if you need it or you don't if you don't so 27.2 goes into smaller tubes if you happen to have a slightly larger tube it's going to be most likely the 30.4 so you would use that sleeve that is the noisiest one i have ever seen what is up with this i chose a noisy one to make a video with that's crazy that is insane Okay, so anyway, uh, yeah, you'll use this or not use this depending on what frame you have. And we got the saddle over here that we're going to use. And I really like, I really like this Blue Wind saddle uh, that I started using recently. So I bought a second one, and I'm going to continue using these for now until I find something better. Uh, if there's something else there that I like, but uh, yeah, I really like this saddle. So, it doesn't matter if you have this saddle or another saddle. It doesn't matter if you have this seat post or a different seat post. Um, the operation is basically the same. So, what we're going to do on the bottom of the saddle here, you have this bracket right here. And typically, if you're not changing your seat post out, this is what you're going to do. You're going to loosen this up, and you're going to set this down on your saddle, tighten this down, and then install your new seat. Uh, we're installing a new post. So, we're going to... And this post right here already has... A bracket looks different than this one that's okay because we're going to use this one right here that means this one has to come off and we're going to get rid of it so we're just going to loosen up these nuts right here and sometimes you can do this it would help if I went lefty loosey instead of righty tighty sometimes you can do this uh, without the need of a second wrench on the other side like we just did so that went off pretty easy you're gonna have all these extra parts that falls off don't worry about it we're not going to use those anymore anyway this is kind of jammed in there so now this needs to come off you just got to wiggle this out so just grab it twist it a little bit and this whole thing is going to pop off we're going to have there we go got rid of that part and these guys these guys are just kind of hung on there too so just kick those a little bit and they come off as well so now we have all these little parts over here, and you're going to be like, oh my gosh, how, what am I going to do? If, don't worry about it. Put that in the trash. You don't need that anymore. Now we're going to take this new seat post, and we're just going to loosen up these screws right here. And sometimes it helps to take them off, but I try not to. Just, just loosen them up. Okay, for, for expediency, I use a different wrench to uh, loosen this up, but you want to get it loosened up most all the way. Now when you get ready to put this on here, you're going to spread this apart like that the best you can and wiggle it in here on wiggle it in here on these rails just like that got one on i'm gonna get the other side on there we go and it's on there so it's sitting on both of these two rails where it's supposed to be now note these screws are on the the back side of the seat because when you uh, put your seat on, it needs to be angled in the, the right direction. Now we just need to tighten up these screws and get this thing secured. Before we tighten it all the way though, we want to figure out exactly where we want this saddle to be positioned because you can, you can adjust the angle of these. Depending on your riding comfort, you can, let's see, I'm not going to go any further than that. Maybe I got it too much. Back up just a little bit. Can't go too tight with them. It needs, it needs a chance to wiggle. All right. So this seat post is designed so it rocks right here on this, on this plate right here. So 
it can go down it can go it can shift downward like that it can go upward and sit more upright like that it all depends on where you want it on your on your uh, bike so what i like to do is i'll take it over to the bike set it down in the seat tube because a lot of seat tubes are always angled a little bit differently so let's come over here to the zora bike and i haven't taken that one off yet so i'm going to pop that off get that out of the way and with this particular bike here i don't need the shim okay so we left the shim off on this one but the idea is set it in there and then figure out where you want this saddle where you want it angled you want it angled further back do you want it angled forward i want it somewhere right here in the middle just kind of figure out where that is yeah so almost uh, straight up looking at it almost straight up and down so that's where we're going to have it so we'll come back over here flip this low oh, let me show you something else so also on this saddle here you can position this so it's further to the back which means your seat is a little closer to the front or you can put it all the way up here which means your seat is a little further to the back so you got to you know what an inch and a half or so of play there that allows you to move your seat a little bit closer to the front of the handlebars if you need to be able to reach it comfortably i know about where i like mine so we're gonna leave it right there bring it back over here i'm going to keep that same angle about where i had it tighten down these screws now it's not going anywhere before i before we tighten it down all the way i'm going to check one more time just to make sure everything looks good you can tighten it down further if you want and actually hop on the saddle but yeah that's looking good it's looking even with the bike it's uh, maybe tilted slightly backwards which is fine i just don't want it tilted slightly forward because then i'm going to feel like i'm falling off the front so i think that's perfect right where it's at All right, now guys, this part is really important. Crank down on these pretty good when you tighten them up. So use the smaller end of your wrench because you can get more leverage on it. And just start tightening down. Right. And there we go, that's all she wrote. We got our saddle, uh, new suspension post installed on the new saddle. And uh, now we just need to go put it on the bike. All right. Now there's something else you need to be aware of here before you go out and buy a suspension seat post and, and a new saddle. And that is because it is a suspension seat post, it's got to have room to travel. And so what happens is even if you put this in the lowest position, this saddle is going to be about right at two inches, a little less than two inches taller than a normal seat post is. So if you happen to be a shorter person and you're already at the lowest point on your saddle, and you want to change to this your saddle is going to be about two inches taller moving forward if you go with this kind of setup for us taller people it doesn't matter because you know we have lots of room to play with here so we can adjust our saddle up or down however we need uh, to account for the two inches of play that's going to be right here something else i didn't share with you let's take this back out typically i don't have to make this adjustment but there is an adjustment screw right here in the bottom where you can adjust the tension you know how much spring is there and how how tight it is and typically right out of the you know box right out of the bag um, you know it's it's set and it's perfectly fine for me but if you find that you're not getting enough squish you can always loosen this up to give yourself a little more squish on the suspension or if it's too squishy you know you can always tighten it up but uh, just know that that adjustment is there and that does help now one thing I wish these seat posts had would be like a marker or something on here so you could check the height and, and know exactly where you like it each time. So what I do is once I have a height that I know that I like, I just pay attention to where this text is right here on the side and I make sure I stick it in uh, right there every time. You know, it's, it's helpful if you have somebody else ride your bike and they move your seat around. It's easy to go back and find exactly where the position is that you'd like if you pay attention to the zoom text that they have sitting right here okay and that is it so now we have some squish and that adds to the comfort level of this bike and it adds to the comfort level of any bike especially those that don't have suspension 
like this bike because it doesn't have front suspension, it doesn't have rear suspension, so now you have suspension for your tush. Okay guys, I always label my old saddles so I know what uh, goes with what bike because I do have a saddle problem. If you can see up here on this top shelf, I've got a number of saddles that I've collected and it's nice to know what goes with what. Not that I ever know that I'm going to do anything with those, but hey, one can never, one can never tell. I might come up with a use for those at some point. Okay guys, that's it. it. Took about 10 minutes to do that. Nice and simple and easy. So if uh, you want to upgrade your saddle and your suspension seat post, here's the thing. People talk about, oh, what's the most comfortable saddle? What's the, you know, people are always asking that after they buy a new bike because they quickly realize that the saddle that comes with the bike isn't that great. And I've tested a few. And, uh, you know, right now the, what was it called? West Wind? Blue Wind. Blue Wind is the saddle of choice for me. But here's the thing. If you don't want to upgrade your saddle for some reason, still upgrade your suspension seat post because that alone adds a lot of comfort to your ride and so i always recommend you doing that there are links below if uh, you so choose to use those you can but uh, other than that that's it for this video so if you uh, like it please hit that like button give me a like give me a like give me a like please and uh, if you have any questions drop them down below i'll see you in the next video ride safe